dear students today we are going to discuss about how to create simple network connection using different transmission media so just i place a title create simple network connection using different transmission media okay so first i am going to place one computer and one laptop then go to network devices select wireless uh, that is the uh, devices here come to home router and come to ban emulation and we need one cable modem one cloud that is pt cloud and go to end devices insert one server okay so the next step just i change the name of the uh, devices this is pc this is laptop it's wireless router cable modem and just i make it as internet and this is cisco.com okay now we have to make a connection between the devices first i am using copper straight line through to connect the pc with wireless router just you click on the pc select fast ethernet and here it's a gigabit ethernet one so next again i am going to use copper straight line through to connect the wireless router and cable modem here you choose internet and here it's port 1 now to connect the cable modem with the internet use coaxial cable here you choose port 0 and in the cloud select coaxial and again use copper straight line through to connect the internet with cloud server select ethernet and here make it as fast ethernet right now the laptop is not connected we are going to use the laptop as the wireless connection so first i am going to configure the wireless router just to click on the wireless router and go to gui and select wireless here give the name of the ssid as just i give my name and just you scroll down and click save settings okay the next step go to setup menu and here just you scroll down and we are going to give that a static dns address it's uh, 2086720220 and just you scroll down and click save settings okay just to close the window now we are going to configure our laptop just to click on the laptop and now we are going to add wpc 300 module into our laptop so this is the physical view of our laptop 
before we do any modification in our physical device we have to power off our device just to click on the button now the device is powered off just you click on the same button now it's power on okay just you power off and here just you drag and drop the empty uh, port and here just insert WPC 300 into our laptop right now just you click the power button okay now you look at the difference in the background there is no connection before we insert WPC 300 so once it's inserted and it make it as the wireless connection right now so the next two step in the same window go to desktop so here select PC wireless and click on connect right now what the SSID we gave in the previous step that name is displayed here right just you click the SSID name and click on connect button okay so the next step we are going to configure our PC so click on that PC and go to desktop select IP configuration now we are going to use a static uh, from static IP to dynamic IP by default static IP is enabled now just I make it as dynamic IP okay now the dynamic IP address it's a set by default and the request is successful okay just you close the window and just you click on the PC go to command prompt now you type IP config all IP config one space all we received fast Ethernet connection Bluetooth connection okay right now just to close the window and we are going to configure our internet cloud just you click on that internet and here we are going to insert two modules into our physical device just you power off your physical device and make it the port is empty And now I am going to insert PT Cloud NM1CX and PT Cloud NM1CFE. Right now, just you click on the power button. Okay. The same window, the next step go to configuration menu. And here we are going to add the configuration menu. First step, go to cable. Okay, here coaxial is enabled, but it's right side. There is no uh, cable. It's available here. Before that, just you go to fast Ethernet and make it uh, network provider from DSL to cable. Now you come to the cable option. Okay, we got that fast Ethernet eight and now just you click the add button okay the record is added now right so the next step just to close the window and okay that cable is disconnected just to make it one more time use coaxial and select port 0 and here it's 
quaxical. This is copper straight line through first ethernet and here first ethernet 0, right? Now just you configure the server. So in that server configuration, so first step we are going to uh, give that the IP address for DHCP server. Just you go to services and here you select. So meanwhile you check, check your that is connection whether it's a uh, anything disconnected from your network just to verify in the same time. Okay, just you select DHCP. You make it as the services should be on. And that name of your pool is DHCP. And the default gateway address. 208 67 220 220 and the DNS server address is 208 67 220 220 and the starting IP address is 208 67 220.1 and the subnet mask is 255 255 255.0 now the maximum number of user is make it as 50 okay Now just you click the add button. Now the record is it's added into our the port right. So the next step we are going to click on the DNS and make it DNS services is on and give the name of the resource record is it's a cisco.com. And the address of our DNS services is 208-67-220-220, right? Just to click the add button, okay, the record is, it's added here. And now we have to do the global settings. Just you go to configuration window and here, just to give the default gateway address is, it's 208-67-220.1 and the DNS server is, it's 208-67-220-220. Okay, now go to fast ethernet 0, verify that whether the port status is on. Now you type the IPv4 address here. It's 208 67 220 220 and subnet mask is 255 255.0. Right? Okay, just you close the window. And now we have to verify our connectivity. Just to click on the PC and go to command prompt and now you type ipconfig slash release ok the next command ipconfig slash renew right Okay, just now I am going to ping Cisco server.
it takes some time to get the response from Cisco server. Just to be, wait for a few more minutes. Right. Now we are getting a response from Cisco server. So what's the address we got from Cisco server? It's a replay from 208.67.220.220 and the bytes it's 32 bytes of data. The time it's taken it's 1 millisecond, 1 millisecond and the third time it takes 21 milliseconds. And the fourth response we got within 1 millisecond. The TTL it's 127. Now the number of packets sent is 4 received 4. There is no packet loss. The approximate round tip time is it's a minimum 1 millisecond. Maximum is 21 milliseconds. Right. So it's based on our connectivity. The time it will vary. So if the connection is poor or the signal strength is poor, definitely it takes some time to get the response. So that's the reason here in my system it takes 21 milliseconds and the average time is it's a 6 millisecond. Okay. We successfully completed all the steps just to close the window. Now just to give simple message from uh, PC to laptop. Okay, it's got successful connection. Just to make it a uh, simulation mode, click on the play button. The message is transferred from PC to laptop. And the acknowledgement, we have to get it from laptop to PC. Right. Now, uh, that is PC to laptop connection is successful. So, the most important thing of our uh, today video, we have to send the message from PC to Cisco server. Right. Just I am going to add one more message from PC to Cisco server. Okay. Just I am going to make it uh, The play button, it's already the message is transfer. It's a reaches to cloud and it's coming to Cisco server. It reaches to cable modem and comes to wireless router. Okay, now we got both messages successful, right? So when we try to send message from PC to laptop, it's easily we can do it uh, through the simple uh, steps. So if you are using some different uh, transmission media, different connectivity, and when we add uh, that is uh, Cisco server into our connection, we have to do few more steps, right? So that's the reason it takes a lot of steps and we are inserting some IP address into every step. Okay. Now we got both messages successful. Okay. Right. I hope this video is clear to everyone. In case if you have any doubts, you please post it in the comment window. Thanks for watching.